Good morning dear students today we are going to start chapter number 6 and in this chapter we are going to learn about time and different types of clocks let's start today i woke up at 6 o'clock finished my household work and got ready for school on time do you know students what should we know to do all the work on time Yes it is necessary for us to know about time dear students if you know about the concept of time then you will never get late for your school and you will always be on time and students you should not waste your time as time is very precious dear students now tell me who tells us time yes very good a clock tells us time students seconds minutes and hours are the units for measuring time students this is a wall clock and it has three hands the longest and thinnest of all displays seconds and it moves quickly and the second hand displays the minutes it is the bigger one and the smaller hand is used to display hours and it moves slowly students all the hands continuously rotate around the dial in a clockwise direction in the direction of increasing number now look at this clock it has numbers 1 through 12 printed around the periphery of the face with 12 at top and now look at the second clock the face of the clock is marked by roman numerals numbers from 1 to 12 are printed at equally spaced intervals on both the clocks the section between numbers are divided into 5 minute segments there are tiny lines running along the clock dividing these segments in the same way 60 dots or lines are evenly spaced friends now look at the small hand or hour hand it is pointing to 9 and minutes hand is pointing to 12 it means the clock is indicating 9 o'clock the hour hand moves from one number to its nearest number in one hour that is the hour hand goes from 9 to 10 in one hour the minute hand makes one round of the dial in one hour it moves across one division in one minute or five divisions in five minutes and the second hand goes around 60 times it means one hour is equal to 60 minutes now student c after 1 hour or after 60 minutes the small hand is on 10 and long hand is on 12 and the clock is indicating 10 o'clock after one more hour the small hand is on 11 and long hand is on 12 and now the clock is indicating 11 o'clock now we see that when minute hand is at 12 and hour hand is pointing towards any number then the time is exactly that number this is wrist watch you must have seen it at your home in these type of watches the numbers are omitted and replaced with unlabeled marks roman numerals and small lines in these type of watches time is read by angles of the hands it has three small watches this small watch tells us about day and night second small watch tells us about date and the third small watch tells us about day what is the day today some children have these type of digital watches in these type of watches time has been displayed on the screen in numbers so students there are different types of clocks and watches today's pass question look at the picture of clock and tell which number is our hand pointing we have four options option a 2 option b 
option C5 and option D6. Students, as you can see, minute hand, that is the longest hand, is on 12. And second hand, the thinnest and fastest moving hand, is on 2. And the R hand, that is the slowest moving hand, is on 5. So the correct option is 5. And correct option is option C. It's time for homework now. Students, you have to prepare a model of clock by cutting cardboard in round shape and practice how to tell time. Thank you.